Welcome to Takasakiyama in Oita City. These monkeys are native to Japan. They're pretty special. This is not a zoo. This is a monkey reserve. They come and go freely. In fact, this is more like a town square. And today, I'm going to be working here for the afternoon to get a closer look at the lives and society of these monkeys. And believe it or not, they do not eat bananas. Let's see where exactly Oita City and Takasakiyama are located in Japan. We start in Kyushu. Oita's on the eastern end. Here's Oita City, the capital of the prefecture, and Takasakiyama is just to the west, right off the bay. At the base is the rail line and highway, and behind the park entrance is pure wilderness, where the monkeys live. a.m. It's time for me to start my job at Takasakiyama Monkey Park. You can walk a few minutes up the steps or commute there by monorail. This definitely is not the Shinkansen, but it's a smooth ride to the office. All staff members must wear Takasakiyama Park uniforms. We're ready for the first task of the morning, calling the monkeys down from the mountain for breakfast and a head count. Visitors aren't allowed up the mountain, but since we're on the job, you're invited to join us. So we're out here to confirm the situation, to see how the monkeys are doing and uh, see how the pack is uh, reacting day to day. So every morning they'll do this kind of a Check on the monkeys. This is when the bizarre monkey yelling started. <laughs> Other staff members were higher up the mountain yelling and reporting on the population's movements. <laughs> Other than our yelling, the forest beyond was quiet. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
止まるしあ、切ってる Nothing. But they're out there. It's pretty cool. We've got four or five of them now coming out of the jungle. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten now monkeys that have come out of the forest to come and greet us. This is morning at Takasaki Yama. <laughs> It's pretty cool, huh? <笑>おはようございます。One of the bosses came out to let everyone know it was clear of danger. Not all monkeys commute by ground. Some take to the trees. The young ones ride in a town on their mother's backs. It's a lot more fun that way. This is an important part of the job, keeping the monkeys together so they don't go to surrounding farms. They're used to coming down to town for breakfast now, which keeps farmers happy. So, what exactly are these monkeys in Japan? Oita is just one of many places where the Japanese macaque reside. What makes them special is that they're the only native monkey in Japan, and they get their name as the snow monkeys because no other primate lives more north than them. The Japanese macaque is the king of the cold. They can deal with temperatures as cold as minus 20 degrees Celsius. Their average lifespan is about six years in the wild, and around 28 to 30 in captivity. Monkey is saru in Japanese. The Nihon Zaru is part of Japanese folklore and respected, except maybe by the farmers. Which is why the park exists. It opened in 1952 after World War II when food supplies for humans were low. And it kept the monkeys and humans in harmony. With about 1,200 monkeys here, Takasaki Yama's monkey troops are some of the biggest in the world. It's a family friendly place for both monkey and human. Feeding time. Several times a day, staff fill a bucket full of barley. And I can't be late. The monkeys know exactly when feeding time takes place. Experienced staff moves quite quickly. It will be hard to move the same way my first time. ちゃんと集めてから巻かないと、端っこのが、ああ、餌巻いてるで、後から気づいて降りてきて、で食べられなかったら、また畑ちゃうでしょ、だから、ちゃんとある程度集めてから、さささっと巻いてあげないと、行き渡らない。あーゴロちゃんおー<笑>ありがとうございます。
they don't eat just barley, it's time for dinner. The sweet potato cart race. It's a way for them to show off their speed and agility to the troop. It gets pretty crazy out there, like a mosh pit. I'll show you from three angles. After they get one or two sweet potatoes, the troop scatters for some good eat. After you get your sweet potato, you sneak off fast. For the big guys swipe one from you. The monkey park is set up with urban services like a city. There's waste management. One of our duties is to protect and serve the public. Make sure humans and monkeys get along. Society has rules. The park gives visitors a chance to see the Nihonzaru society in the wild, roaming free. Here are the rules you humans need to know. Don't feed them. Don't touch or pet them. Don't make fun of them. No one likes that and don't stare into their eyes. It's said if the monkey runs between your legs, it brings good luck. And many visitors try. It's been a pretty cool experience working here so far. Uh, after a couple of hours, you start to see that a lot of the monkeys really do have like a personality to them. You can tell by looking at their faces. It just, it just takes a little bit of time to get used to seeing their faces, I think. But yeah, you know, you work here for a day. These aren't monkeys anymore. These are kind of like friends. You get to know them. <laughs> I asked Sugamoto-san about the park, how she got started, and why this place exists. Motomoto Takasaki Yama ni wa saru ga sunde te, de sore ga senko mamonai gurai kara don don ko.畑 あの、群れが畑、ま、山の外に出そうになったらこっちに追い込む係にいました。山の中で猿がどんな生活してるのかもちゃんとそれで見れたし、そうですね。ここだけだったら穏やかだけど、山の中ではやっぱり犬に食べ
もう最近は B が来たら C が怖くてそのまま逃げてたんですけど、まあ、去年あ今年か今年の3月に一回大きな喧嘩が久しぶりにあって C 軍600匹がここ午前中いてで B 軍が12時の時点からゆっくりこうさっきみたいに山下ってき始めてたらメスザルがあの岩の裏でこう餌食べてたから B が来たのに気がつかなくてまだこうもこもこもこもこ食べてたんです。だからね、B の先頭に来たオスがガブッてこう噛んだんです、俺たち来たんだから帰れって言ってたら、もう捕まってしまうと結構、群れと群れの喧嘩は激しく怪我するんですね、であまずいなと思ったら、あのギャーって言いながら逃げて、あよかった、逃げたって思ったら、そのメスが仲間のところにギャーってこう逃げ返ったら、いつもは B が来たら C、引き上げていっちゃうのに。仲間噛まれたらバンって出てきてすごいでその時は B 軍がたった戦闘グループの200匹しか出てなくってでまあ戦闘にはナンバースリーのゴエモンと4番のラルフとまああまり偉くないオスの3頭ぐらいしかまだオスが入ってなくてそれがガガッって出てきたけどやっぱり C の方が仲間噛まれたから勢いがついてていや久しぶりに C が勝つのかなっていうぐらい。な勢いだった時に B のナンバーワンがガガガって突っ込んできて一気に C の中心部にドンって突っ込んだらギャーって引いちゃってやっぱね B のナンバーワンは年取ってますけどすごいそう全然違うあの仲間っていうかやっぱり年取ってるオスって喧嘩は上手 C のナンバーワンは若いんですで C のナンバーワンはなんかこう直球勝負っていうか真っ向勝負だけど B は一バンってこう突っ込んどいてあと右左からこうこう回り込んでの練り込んでっていうすごいのすごかったのでちょっとバトル<笑> This is like This is like army human kind of attacking <笑>そうもうね年取ってるなすごい<笑> Wow This is a really special experience for me to see this from the other side. The great thing about the monkey reserve is that they live free up there in the mountain and come down here whenever they want. As someone who got a chance to see the other side and as staff, you have to have a really great love for the monkeys to do this job, I think. And you can see that by talking to Sugamoto san and seeing the staff really care for the monkeys. That meant a lot to me. I think if you're interested in coming to Oita, there's a lot of stuff to do. If you don't want monkey food, grab some tori ten and some Japanese sake. Ready to hear about Oita City? Right at the airport, you're greeted with food on the luggage belt. You've got some of the best seafood in Japan, like Seki Saba and Seki Aji. Oita is famous for it, and also for its chicken. They're serious about it. Tori Ten is a must. As is their karage Japanese deep fried chicken. The city center is easy to navigate, and a stop at the retro Miyakomachi is a must. It really is an adventure. Budget airlines fly here in a little over an hour from Tokyo. And the monkeys will be waiting too. Oita City is also one of the venues for the Rugby World Cup. It was great to spend the day working with people that are passionate about their job. Otsukare sama de shita. I'll be back again to visit my friends on staff and also those living in the trees all around them. And as we say in the Nihonzaru world, uki uki. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button and check out another one of our shows. Don't miss my second live streaming channel, Only in Japan Go! And check out location photos on Instagram.